Hello everyone and welcome back to At the Mountains of Madness. Last time I was stuck in this room here because I could trigger those cutscenes from the library, but I couldn't really progress because there was this blue barrier here that denied me access to this room here. And it turned out that it was actually a bug, so this barrier was supposed to be lowered when you trigger those three. Well, it wasn't really cutscenes, they were actually kind of interactive, at least one of them. But that just didn't happen. So, but the developers so I asked asked the forums for help because I thought I would just not get what I was supposed to do. But it turned out it was just a bug, so I had to wait until they fixed it, which they did basically within 24 hours. So that was pretty good. But then again, of course, this should have been tested before they <laughs> before they finished this. And this is the second time we had a bug that literally didn't allow me to continue at all. Oop, glad I didn't fall into there. So here we have purple ice. At least I think so. And I think I'm... am I still freezing? Yep, definitely still freezing. And the freezing mechanic in this game, I've already mentioned it, it's, it's terrible on so many levels. Because it's, it's annoying, but it's not an actual threat. Yeah, but I'm I'm well stuck with those cans here now, so we should be good. And there's supposed to be a key here that allows me to continue, but it doesn't really look like it. Did I? S no, I have no key, so I didn't accidentally collect it or anything. I guess I have to maybe get to over to those those stairs. Just jump down here. Good thing this game has no falling damage. So let's just go up here. And no, so we're just just here. Okay, so let's go down here. And let's see whether there's anything worthy of our notice there. This looks kind of interesting. Yeah, I've mentioned this before. This game doesn't really look bad. It would be a lot better if it actually didn't have all those invisible walls and those visible walls that aren't actual walls. And yeah, let's just get get some canned beans. Here we go. And let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not good. Oh, did I? I think I messed it up. Yeah, I think I reached the end of the world once more. Jump! Yep, definitely end of the world. Let's just check out how large this is. Oh, well, I guess we can't because I can't really see anything. So yeah, I'll... I'll see you in a moment. So we're back here. This time I, explore, I explored this part of the room, but there doesn't really seem to be anything here. So this, the thing here is hollow, but to be honest, I don't think it's su supposed to be that way. And I can kind of like halfway walk through it, but not really. But there doesn't seem to be any key here. Yeah, I, I was told in the form that there would be a key and that you could use the key to activate that other like runes i'll just call it a rune stone because it kind of looks like one but that doesn't really seem to be the case but well, can we walk over here we sure can and does it get us anywhere maybe we can interact with these spheres or whatever those are nope it doesn't look like it at least not these ones here. Hmm. Okay, so I got about one inch further th than last time. And we're still stuck, at least for the most part. Yeah, but hey, let's just see whether I overlooked so something here. I mean, sh there should be something here. Otherwise, why would they even give you access to this area? And yet doesn't really look like it so anything here nope it's just just gazing into the abyss I mean there, sh there should be something here and maybe here nope doesn't look like it let's jump down here and I still don't have any keys so I didn't accidentally collect one maybe it's just really well hidden no we'll see I think I'll search for a while and I'll, I'll call you back once I found something. 
Okay, this is literally a second after I hit the record button. I found this key here, so yeah, let's, let's just pretend that never happened. But to be fair, with this... This still doesn't look like a freezing effect. This looks like a cloudy sky from Google Image Search effect. It's kind of hard to see and it kind of has the same color as environment, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. I have it now. So, let's jump over here. Let's jump down here. I've said it before, but I'm really glad this game doesn't have any falling damage. That would be horrific. Let's just hope we get back to the portal and before we completely freeze. Um, of course we do not. So let's just use this can of beans here. Yeah, I made a special save in this room here because there's a can of beans. So in case I need to travel back in the future and get more, more beans, I can always travel back. Get more of those delicious, delicious Shoggoth beans, which you all know and love. Kind of glad I didn't get impaled by one of those icicles yet. Or grabbed and eaten by one of those ten tentacle beings up there. But I guess those are just background decoration. Yeah, but let's not waste any time, any more time here and let's get to the next area. Ooh. So, is this gate in this room? I hope it is. And it looks like there's a second gate right... B b b that was confusing. A second gate right behind that gate and... Oh yeah, it's, it's this gate here. So we should be good. And well, this looks like a, um, like a completely different dim dimension. Is, is this some sort of the black black hole vortex am i supposed to step on here well let's find out whoa am i looks like i'm floating sort of I'm not quite sure what kind of an effect that is but anyway this looks pretty dangerous so let's check it out this is this ice or glass who knows in any case there actually anything here no oh, but, but what what just happened and why do I no longer have control over my character hello pressing every button I have can't open the inventory nothing's happening so this doesn't really look like a cutscene hello Menu doesn't work. Can't turn around. Was this supposed to happen? I don't think it was. And there's this droning sound. This very much sounds like we're back in at the Mountains of Madness. Like the literal Mountains of Madness. Okay. Come on. Can, can I pull up my gun or so? No. Okay, mouse and keyboard essentially stop working. Uh, okay, I'll I'll try to figure something out and then then I'll be back. This episode is less than ten minutes long, and this is already the third time I'm saying this. Here we are. So what I did, I reloaded the game's last auto save it made, and upon reloading the auto save, I could move. I can access the menu. I'm almost completely frozen again and we can progress and we're in some sort of ice cavern with temples in the background and stones we can occasionally walk over and occasionally can't walk over so let's explore this this arch here those arches always lead somewhere so we may as well check it out and here we have some sort of valley could just jump down there because we've already established jumping down into ridiculously deep chasms doesn't really have any negative impact. Ooh, bam. So that should have broken both of our legs, but didn't. Of course, freezing mechanic is still still in place because of course it is. And the problem here is that I could just not take the beans and 
just accept the slow walking speed, but to be honest, that's really not... Why, why can I float anyway? It's, it's really not acceptable, it's just not... This game is already slow enough, because there are just so many gigantic rooms that you have to explore. And at this point, I've spent about 12 hours playing this game. I wouldn't believe it, but it's actually true. I've played about 12 hours and half of that or more was just me exploring the initial ruins where I couldn't continue because the game had to be patched before I could do that. So, And I didn't even know that. I thought it was just me not being able to continue. I tried everything I asked on the forums. I checked out that trailer because one of the devs mentioned that the trailer... Oh, Penguin. Because the trailer would give, give me a hint on how to continue. And the trailer did show the gate opening, but I just couldn't use the keys properly. I even checked out other let's plays, but the thing is there's no at, at least at the at the time of me recording this, there's no other LP of this game where anybody has progressed further than I have right now. So that wasn't really an option. And to once I kind of try to avoid that because I really want to find out everything myself and I don't really want to rely on other let's players. But I mean there were why aren't you dead? I had to wait month and month for this patch to come out and I had almost abandoned this LP because I just couldn't pro- oh look at that another key that's good so what I'm going to do here is, is there more ammunition as well not that I really need ammunition I still have 480 shots that killed about 240 of those penguins so we really should be good so I've got a second key it might almost be worth just reloading a couple of times and collecting more of these keys. And just because we are probably going to need them sooner or later. The game does take them away occasionally. At least that's what has happened to me. At one point I used to have something like 10 keys because I just explored so much and reloaded over and over again at the same spot. And collect the key every time because you may as well collect it. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. So we're still here. I just want to show you something. The resolution of this texture up here. I mean, holy hell, this is like, like DOS level of low resolution. I don't know what went wrong here because clearly they do have these higher resolution textures, but this, this is just outstanding. I don't seem to be able... Oh, hey, I, okay, now I, now I am able to go through here. That wasn't possible a moment ago. Yeah, I did collect... Uh, um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Uh, please, please tell me I'm not st stuck here, please. Come on, come on. And yeah, we were lucky. So I got hit by one penguin. And that penguin took away about 40% of my health. So those penguins, if you're really unlucky, it doesn't happen often. But am I, st am I stuck here? Please tell me I'm, yeah, I'm not stuck. If you're really unlucky, those penguins can actually kill you in two hits. Those are very vicious, vicious penguins. I still don't know what these Tiberium crystals here are. I mean, they, they are a, a source of heat, so I guess that's great. And yet, there's still snow around them. But I'm not going to question that, because I mean, that's, that's really the least of this game's problems, honestly. Same goes for these floating shelves of ice. But yeah, that's a different story. In any case, let's check out this gate here. Or at least, I think it's a gate. Maybe a gate or maybe not a gate. Who knows? So I did manage to find another one of these stones here. Uh, you essentially just have to follow the valley. There's really only one way to go. There's one loop that leads you to a crystal and to a key. For which we now have three. Because I had just reloaded a couple of times. Because I was freezing to death and I didn't want to waste resources by just getting nowhere. So here's another gate. I presume that's going to open as soon as we activate the stone here. Yes, I was right, I'm learning. Well, this is like the, the fourth time this happens, so I guess there's only so much, so much these keys can do. Here we have zoom effect. So let's go through that gate and let's see where that leads. Our objective is still to follow them elder things so we'll see i'm not quite sure where we're following them like i don't recall actually having seen them apparently we have met shoggoth because we had we were in that one chamber in the library 
where there were tentacle things under the, the ceiling. So I guess those were shock off. Now we have uh, another cavern. Let's see where that leads. Here we have pretty much nothing else we're leaving behind. I did I did kill a bunch of other penguins, but that's that's really it. They they're just like the usual penguins. And they oh wow. Yeah, no, no wonder they're calling this mouse of the abyss. Consi yeah, that's probably not what's supposed to happen. But I guess I'll, I'll take it. So can I can I walk anyway? I don't really want to fall all the way down because that sounds like a terrible idea. But I guess it happens anyway. So here we are. Good thing this game doesn't have falling damage. Now the question is: Are we actually supposed to be here, or supposed to walk somewhere else? Because I'm pretty sure you're not just supposed to fall through, or fall the entire way down here. There's also another question: Are there any more cans of beans here? Because we could really use some. I mean, keep in mind. The only reason why I've got 17 of those is because I just farmed them. And that's just based on a glitch. If I hadn't, I'd be frozen. And then I'd essentially nothing would change except for me walking at half the speed I'm currently when I'm, I'm walking at when I'm currently walking, not even running, just walking. So that's this boot is this flickering here, Jesus. Anyway, so you've got a column, looks good to me. And we are we're quite frozen. I think I'm going to eat one can of beans, which doesn't even give us all our body heat back, which is really disappointing. So here are those doors. Here are, okay, some colors, red. There's something in this game that isn't blue and isn't the penguin. Well, this looks good, looks very Busy. Do we have a new object objective? No, nope. go after the other things. I think at one point our objective was actually follow the other things, it wasn't go after the other things, so that's that's good. Do we still have our keys? No, we do not. I guess you always use all of them at the same time when you use them, so you can't really hoard them. But that's not too much of a problem. So here we have. I can barely understand you, mate. Oh, beans. Here we go, beans, that's good. So if we get a source of heat and beans, there's probably more supplies here. Yep, we've got a battery. Not that we have actually used our torch in like the last six months I've been playing this game. So we've got beans, we've got more beans, which can potentially farm them faster, which is great. So, and we have a cavern so large I can't actually see where the hell I'm going. So let's just warm up all the way because there's there's really no no reason not to do that. And then let's continue to go after the other things. Which I presume just went to this direction here because where else would they go really? Got this gate or another one of these gates. Oh, and here we have a something. This is some sort of column pipe. Which is apparently made of glass. So let's just get all the way down. Here we've got a sled. Well, that's. Oh no, it's getting me. How the hell did. Dead. Oh yeah, go figure. So, how. You are very dead indeed. I, I remember you talking to you and you having a, like a Norwegian accent. I th or at least I think your character was Norwegian. So, you are very dead and your blood looks. looks like someone just threw a red paintball at you. So you, you post that one and your dog's apparently dead. And your dog has physics. See, physics. Mm, physics. Do you have physics? Well, oh, no, that, that looked terrible. So anyway, how, how did he even get here? How, how did he get here? How many penguins did he have to kill to get here? Let's just explore and see what's here. I'm not sure whether we can get back up there. I mean... We should, but there might just be an invisible wall there now. And what what even killed him? He doesn't really look like a penguin victim. In any case, let's just see what's over here. Cause we have to go somewhere after all. Oh, look at that penguin. So I guess he was killed by penguins. God, this would actually be scary if you didn't have like five million bullets left. 
we have actually well, not five million we only have about 500 but then again that's probably still enough to kill every single penguin in this entire game and i'm not even exaggerating here so here's some sort of dragon statue i guess well there were enemies here so i guess it's fair to assume that there's something important here and it's also very foggy and I can't really see what's ahead. Could be the draw distance, could be the fog, maybe both. Who knows, in any case there's a door. But it doesn't look like it's open. But it looks like we can just walk past that. Oh, look at that. Blue columns. Yeah, I could, I could really appreciate the aesthetics here if I hadn't spent about... Okay, I guess we reached the goal of the following the elder things. Oh, the screen's frozen. Yes. I guess the game's loading. You can still see the like the freezing effect, but it's completely black. Um, oh, okay, okay, here we go. Ooh, wow. Well, this looks interesting for certain, and I'm freezing. So, I like that I start you with your head against the walls you can literally see nothing but absolute blackness but that's okay so here we are in some sort of crystal cave so there's more blue tabarium here this time which i guess is awesome and i'm not going to jump down there just yet but i will do eventually and ooh, there's red stuff over there as well so that's it's nice i guess it's important because it's not blue for once like everything else in this game Mm -hmm. So, uh, get up. Come on, we really can't get up here. There we go. So, oh, it's actually... Oh, are those insects or are those plants? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we have to find another key because there's another one of those gates. And are those actually enemies? That's a good question. I think it's a question we're going to answer next time. Because I think this episode is long enough. So, thanks for watching. And I shall see you then when we find, fight these face, not, not find or face, these alien space packs. So thanks for watching and see you then. Take care and goodbye.